one big question that most people have when they're transferring their home movies is whether they should get scene-to-scene -scene color correction uh, done during the transfer or to transfer it one light. Now, obviously, there's a huge expense difference between those two options, and so it's a careful decision that you need to make. What I've done here is I've taken some average footage and I transferred it one light, which is on the right, and I've gone back and then retransferred it scene to scene so that you can see the differential between the two processes. The first roll obviously needed a lot of correction. Now that we're into this roll, uh, you can see that the one light transfer produces just as good a picture as a scene to scene picture when the exposure is perfect on the film. So this is uh, pretty much for all intents and purposes a perfect exposure. Uh, if all the film was this way, um, you'd, on you'd only have to do one light transfers. But unfortunately, uh, most film has a variety of uh, exposures on them and uh, you can go in and do color correction and exposure correction to improve all those variances. I was able to get a little more color out of the film, color correcting it, but pretty much I think you'd find if all your pictures were this good, it would make a decent one light transfer. What you're really getting out of a scene scene color corrected transfer is you're getting the most you could possibly get out of all of your footage. And here's a slightly dark scene that we were able to push up a bit exposure wise so you can get a little bit more detail out of the picture. Obviously if there is no image there you can't create it. This is a common problem with Super 8 to have a little bit too much blue uh, wash in the image uh, in some uh, types of films and being able to color time a little bit uh, has a dramatic improvement in how these uh, types of shots look. Obviously a one light transfer can be done faster than a color corrected transfer because uh, you're setting the machine up for one light and just recording the images. So we allow one and a half times uh, the length of film to do a transfer, so an hour transfer takes an hour and a half to do one light. In a scene-to-scene -scene color corrected transfer, uh, there's a lot more work to do. So you go, we go through the entire roll of film and shot by shot set correction values for both the exposure and the color uh, for every scene on the roll of film. So that transfer takes a bit longer. So uh, scene to scene, color corrected transfer takes three to one. So an hour of film takes three hours to transfer. So as you can see that's a critical decision in terms of uh, how much it's going to cost to transfer the film. Uh, scene to scene is going to cost double what one light transfers are going to cost. Now this is all reversal film so the latitude of the film is fairly limited, so it oftentimes makes a, a beautiful picture uh, with a one-light transfer.